Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Real Hazardous, and today we're going after kingfish along the beach. Insert music now. You see, it's kind of windy today. It's a strong wind out of the west. So going offshore would be kind of rough, kind of get your butt beat. On top of that, the kingfish are all along the beach anyways, so it's better off, you know, you burn less gas, nice relaxing trip, really fun to catch those fish, and you just have a good time in general. You see, when there's a strong west wind, when you're on the east coast of Florida, or anywhere really, the land kind of keeps the seas flat for a few miles. You know, you get further offshore and that wind kind of picks up, but I guess the land kind of blocks some of that wind, and it's just not as bad. Now, when we went out to catch bait, it made it a little bit tough because you have to kind of throw into the wind. If the bait's real close to the beach, which they were, you can't exactly put the boat between the bait and the beach when your boat would be in the breakers or on land. So that can be kind of tricky. Made it a little bit difficult to catch bait. Um, they were a little scattered. Made it hard to open your net because of the wind. But we did get our bait and we headed out. It's pretty cool fishing along the beach. Any boat can do it if the day's nice. I mean, we'll see skiffs, flats boats, stuff like that. Um, not hard to get out, not far to go. It's kind of funny. Um, when I was younger, you'd always hear fish the beach for big kings. Go offshore if you want to catch more kings, but smaller ones, because the beach could be kind of slow. You may only get a couple fish in the day, but they'd be bigger. And while there is some truth to that, it's um, more of a myth to me because I've had just some fantastic days catching a ton of kingfish along the beach. I've caught a ton of small kingfish along the beach. I've caught big ones offshore. I've caught a lot of big ones on the beach, not necessarily just one or two. We had one time, I had a big kingfish on. I got that kingfish right under the boat and it was like 40 pound or 35, 40 pound, it was big. About that time, three other kingfish struck our other baits out. We had four on at the time. Fortunately, one comes across my line and cuts it, but the fish my dad gets is also another 35, 40 pound fish. There have been some big fish here. We caught some big fish here also in the media day tournament. You might have seen that video as well. Coming to the Southeast Hole is one of my favorite places to fish because you don't know what you're gonna catch. And lately they've been getting good reports, so we're excited about having a great day of fishing. We start trolling and it uh, doesn't take long, we start getting hits. get more kids than we do with this. Okay. Okay. You get my gloves off. Yeah. You ever seen a bite like that before? Yeah. Bite like a shark. Yeah. I thought they were like sharks. The shark will bite in, just follow it. They just held on. They didn't, didn't run until they got to the boat. But you know, I, that one never pulled a line. All I seen was the pop out of the downrigger. Right, the shark gets on it. Bird the line, man. That's the thing, but this is a baby one, ain't it? Yeah. We got this thing. We're fishing the boat. We're getting an hour. Mm -hmm. 
Both of these have been high, haven't they? We get several fish throughout the day. Uh, it does pretty good. You know, a lot of good fish, nothing huge, but you know, good action, pretty, pretty steady action too. Kind of working an area. It's a natural bottom. It's called the Southeast Hole. There's no actual hole in the ground, you know, a fishing hole, but it's a good area. A lot of boats around us are catching them and it does well. Got it? Yeah. You got it? Uh, you gonna bring him up? When you get a of where my hooks are at. In that trip, we also decided to try a little old school and drag spoons for kingfish. We pulled those later on, but I think because the bite shut down, we didn't catch any fish on the spoons. It seemed like the bite shut down for everyone, whether you had live bait or not. Looking forward to trying some more spoons again. Um, it kind of does offer some advantages in that you can cover more ground, a little bit bigger hooks, put a little more pressure on them, just a different style. Not too different than how we catch Spanish mackerel, which is a lot of fun too. Overall, we enjoyed the day on the water, had a great time. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, learned a few things. If you got some questions, just comment below. And don't forget to find us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and of course, subscribe to us here on YouTube. Also, we'll put links in the description if you want to know what kind of um, gear we were using, the hooks, stuff like that, if you want to rig up for them as well. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.